Have you ever had a photo shoot with multiple people or outfits and you just wanted a better way to organize your images during the photo shoot? Did you know that you don't have to shoot into just one capture folder when using Capture One Pro? In this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up multiple capture folders for your next gig for quick and easy organization. Sometimes you may wanna have several subfolders to separate out what or who you are shooting into their own folder. For example, if you know up front that your client will be wearing 10 different outfits from their clothing company, you can set up 10 different subfolders, one for each of these outfits. Or maybe you know that you're gonna be shooting eight different people for an ad campaign. This could be a great opportunity to set up multiple capture folders each for a specific item or person. What's really powerful is that you can have Capture One automatically name the images as they're taken, depending on what capture folder that you're shooting into. Let me walk you through it. Step one is to create a new session, and we have a great video on how to do that, so check that out. Step two, create new capture folders. I like to keep them inside of my main capture folder. Although there are several ways to do this inside of Capture One, it's probably easiest just to remember to create them using Finder or File Explorer in Windows. Step three is to add these new capture folders to Capture One session favorites by dragging the new folders from Finder to the session favorites to access them quickly. Step four is to change your next capture naming tool to use the destination folder token. This will name each new capture with the name of the capture folder that you select. And step five is to assign new capture folders as you shoot and the name will be updated automatically. An easy way to do this is to right click the folder in your session favorites and select set as capture folder. And it's that simple to set up Capture One with multiple capture folders and automatically rename the tethered images to match the folder that they live in.